Hi everyone, I'm Jenny Wilson from the Golden Broken CMA. Thanks for the opportunity to present at this science forum. My presentation is probably a bit left field, but biodiversity is still declining and I think we need to have good stories to tell to turn that around. This is one story. One of the CMA's roles is to implement on-ground works across private land. Private land is critical to the conservation of biodiversity because it covers approximately 60% of Victoria and somewhere around 70% of our wildlife use private land for some or all of their life cycle. Golden Broken CMA uses a resilience or systems approach to managing biodiversity. Among other things, a systems approach means that we are interested in thresholds or tipping points and the trajectory we are on towards those tipping points. Relatively recent research has shown that vegetation extent is a critical threshold for the conservation of most species on private land. The identified thresholds are at least 10% to 30% extent where most species could be conserved. I recognise that much of this is based on bird data, but there are many other studies that show that these thresholds also ring true for other species, river health and increased farm production. Of course, there are a lot of other variables, complexities and species specific needs, but if we were to consider everything, then the story gets very messy very quickly and people lose interest. The point is that by thinking about thresholds, we have a story to tell, that we can measure and determine what would be lost if we don't achieve this minimum threshold, as well as what we can gain. Once we have a clear goal, then we can use thresholds to provide insights into the costs and benefits of working towards achieving 10 to 30% native vegetation cover. So to tell our story, we can do back of the envelope calculations. Let's say for Victoria that more than 12 million hectares is productive land and 5% of that area is currently has 5% native vegetation cover. So to add another 5% to get to 10%, we would need over 600,000 hectares of revegetation at a cost of say $6,000 per hectare. And that equates to nearly $4 billion to increase vegetation extent by 5% which may sound a lot, but it isn't even the price of one submarine. There are also other opportunities that go with this large scale revegetation. So how are we going now? Again, please bear with my dodgy accounting methods, but the story is the point, not the detail. Currently, CMAs deliver about 10,000 hectares of revegetation each year, but DELP estimate that we lose about 4,000 hectares. So that's 6,000 hectares per year. We need 625,000-ish hectares to achieve 10% extent. So at current rates of revegetation gains and losses, we will achieve 10% native vegetation cover in 104 years. The WWF estimate that at current rates of habitat loss, 50 species are lost for every 100,000 each year. So in that 104 years, we could lose 5,200 species if we only have 100,000 species and 52,000 species if we have a million different species and so on. Think microbiota to large mammals, plants, fungi, etc. In conclusion, we need to do a lot more revegetation and do it quickly. We also need stories to tell so that we have conversations with policymakers and the broader community about the seriousness of this issue and what we have to lose if we don't act now.